Okay. I am uh, going to show you how to make cheap painted wall hangings. I just took some of these hoops. You can buy them anywhere. Uh, you can buy, oh, I got big ones, real big ones. You can buy them any size, it metal, plastic, colored, just any, any size you want. All right. Then I took a piece of cloth, decorated, cut out a square right here. And put it on my stretch boards, what I'm calling it. I don't know if there's a name for them, but I don't know what to call them. Ask any uh, crochet or whatever. And then I put Mod Podge on front and back to make the canvas sort of stiff. If you don't have Mod Podge, you can wet down some Elmer's glue and use it. Okay. Now we're going to paint it. All straightened up over here. Okay, we're gonna need some white. Okay, well, I guess for sure. Okay, a little bit of white. Now I use this cheapest paint you can get. This is at. Um, Walmart, I think they're around uh, 88 cents a dollar. These are at Dollar Tree, they're a dollar. Just any cheap paint. And you're going to figure out what you're going to use. Let me place, put that thing on board. And uh, I apologize because some of it ain't even opened. I don't know why I put that metal ring back in there. I don't know why, but I do. A little brown. Now you can make the exact colors if you'd like. I use white, brown, let's put a little red there. And I don't believe these are real fancy like titanium white and all of that. I think they're just flat colors. Classic, I think this here is classic green. Okay. And let's put a little yellow up there. Even though I don't see very much yellow in it. So we're going to need that much, for sure. Basically, we got the rainbow here, and a little dab of black. All right, so we got our colors down. There's our colors. Now, what I want to do first is I want to try to get this background color in. So, we need white and a little dab of brown. Let's see what that does. A little dab of that, a little dab of that. A little bit more white. Alright, now we got a color here. Let's put it in here. You don't have to be exact. You just got to put it in there and leave up space for your other colors to go. I had a pink chip on that. Didn't like that at all. Not at all. And this is cheap, inexpensive wall, painted wall covers. Wall hangings, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this. Uh, 
They say, oh, I can't draw. Well, we're not having to draw. We can Crayola like we did in first and second grade. We can Crayola. We can Crayola. You can turn this any way you want. I like that string I put on it. Now I put that uh, Mod Podge and stuff on there so it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't get out of hand. So it wouldn't move it wouldn't move around on me. So that makes that canvas sort of sticky. But hard. Well, once we get our background going here. It don't take much. You want a little lighter, you can put a little lighter in it. Just you know, put it in there. Now I might have to run the hair dryer because I dried this with a hair dryer. This Mod Podge is what I used instead of watered down there with glue. But see how easy it is? You're just painting it in. Just something simple. You could have your kids help you if you'd like. I mean, I'm sure they would like to mess with stuff. And you ain't got but a couple of dollars invested in it. You ain't got a whole bunch. If it messes up, what do you want? Who care? Alright, there's your background color. I always go over the edge here. When necessary. There. Now, oh my goodness, since we've got this and we want a little bit dab of red in that, my dog's barking and my son's probably woken up walking around. A little brown. You want to get, you can go with different colors, you can stay off the colors, you can do anything you want. Remember, this is your wall. This is your wall paint. This is your wall paint. So therefore, you can do it any way you like. Mine's going to be a little pinkish brown. I'm probably getting away. You can't, probably can't see nothing. One from the center. And yes, you did paint it yourself. <laughs> That's what I tell them. Hey, you painted it. It's your painting. Now we got a pinkish flower. That was a little brown, a little white, and, and, and a little red. Here's another flower that's behind that, so let's just catch you to, to sort of coming together, don't you think? And nothing has to be perfect here. I mean, we are just filling up this, I want to call it a canvas, a wall hanging, with uh, paint. 
and he's still grabbing. Or he does not like his children. Don't get me telling stories, but he don't. He doesn't like his own children. All right. What do we got now to do? Hmm, let's do the center. So, I put the, I'm still using the same brush, but with more brown, more brown, more brown, a little bit of red. You really want it to be a really, really, really uh, different color. It's too close to the same color. Let's put more red in it. Step around. And just pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it down from the inside. I had a little sponge. I had a little sponge. Mm -hmm. Where's my little sponge? Here's one. So we're working a circular motion. Don't hurt at all if a little bit of the original starts shining through. See what I'm saying? We already got our dark in there. Ooh. Now there you go. I need to get you guys to look at that for a while. I want to reach this sponge. They dry so hard that I can't even use them after that. You know what I do need to get? Probably my trash back over here. That way I can squeeze out the trash. Squeeze my water out in the trash. Okay, this. I got my rag. I used a brush like this to put that Mod Podge on. Now let's see our cheap. Brushes, what we're going to do. Do I need a chisel brush? Do I need. That's too big. Just keep going through your selection. I don't need a. Excuse me, a fan tail. Oh, look. I like that one. Better leave that color in there just this minute. Okay, I want, to, I want to put in some of these highlights. So, I put a little dab of black back into the color that I had. A little bit more black. Block. See what I'm doing? Touch the black. Touch the red, the other color that I had, so it'll be something similar to it. A little bit more black. A little bit more 
Wait a minute. Ooh, had to touch the wire when I went across it. That wasn't nice. One thing about it, you always wipe your brochure off. And, uh, And don't be afraid, you ain't got no money invested in this thing. You have not got any money, hardly at all, invested in your wall hanging. My dogs are saying, I, they don't like me to paint, they don't like me to get off by myself, they don't like none of that. I think I got him a little sport. Now you see so far what we got? Bright, using the same pattern. I didn't. I have to do that. Uh, now this is turning into paint instead of uh, the cloth that came right. I need a little bit more black for the inside. A little darker. As this goes, you put a little darker as you go into the inner, inner side. Just mess with your palette. Turn your object if you don't like where the way direction it's going. See what I'm saying? You don't like it, just keep painting. You'll get it. It ain't no hard. It ain't hard. See there. Now we've got the rose done. What do you people think about it? Write your comments. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. All right, we got that done. So, okay. I don't think I need to put the back on there. So, I always left this in case I need to do a little touch-up. See what I'm saying? some brighter colors because when paint dries it sort of loses its luster so you go back and just touch it up a little bit oi them, them puppies are fine they're not getting close to me yes he says they are too <laughs> sorry about the dog barking that's just ori that's my little ori he said my job is to make sure your sugar, sugar level don't get too high or uh, you have a stroke. And let's see here. We might as well do our green. Okay. We have to have some. Let's mix it up. Let me get something. Oi, hush! Daddy's painting. You ain't got time to mess with you. See, yeah, you do. It is never a dull moment around here. Where is that? Huh. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. That's what I, well, I got another one. I'll use this one. Couldn't find the other one. See, I lose my stuff all the time. Put that brush over there in case I need to touch up some more. All right, what do I want? I want green. Put it right in the center of this mess. A little bit of black. Block. A little bit of brown. Here. Alright, a little bit more brown in there. Let's put it all back in the front. Can we get it? And you don't have to have it. Smoothed out. Okay. 
Let's just use this brush. No, I want to keep it in case I got to touch up. Give me another brush. Where is the paint? Okay. I thought I had another brush. I thought I had more brushes. Here's one. Let's just use this chisel brush. And that way I got brown, green, multicolored. Multicolored. I always turn my object to make it, you know, where I want to do it. Okay, keep turning. Oh, let's go this way. Did I paint that over there? Yep, I painted that over there. Let's go ahead and paint this one over here. A little bit bigger area. Take your chisel brush, point it in the corner. I'm, I'm walking away from the camera. See here? And it's, did you paint that? Of course I did. It's like asking a woman, is that your real hair? She, yeah, it is. She bought it. <laughs> it's hers. <laughs> is that your real color? Yes, it is. She bought it out of a jar. Never ask some women some questions you don't want to know. And I never met an ugly woman in my life because your alternatives ain't no fun. My wife always says, you are a character, Dad. See how I did that? See, there don't have to be the same colors. I mean, you, you want it to be, you know, your own. And that's what counts, is something you, of your own. See what I'm saying? Make it your own. Now, I could have set this up on a white canvas, draw this thing in myself, and uh, done the same thing. But I heard so many people, well, I don't know how to draw. Well, you, you're not having to draw. You, you're having a Crayola. Or color, that's what I call it. It's add color. When you add color, it's yours. You don't have to be... Everybody wants to be, oh, looky there, he done an excellent job. No, you can learn how to Crayola. And then later on, you can freehand it, or you can uh, cut a pattern out. You can do anything you want to. But the main thing is, it's yours. It's, it is. It is your painting, your deal. See here. That's changing colors, but they're using multi, multi colors. I think I got a little bit of mileage bulge on that. I better paint this one over here. Better turn it towards me so I can see what I'm doing here. I've got to go in for probably cataracts. So I'm getting blind. Old people are getting blind. But old people sit around and wait for the kids and this, that, and the other. That's great. But while you're waiting, do something for yourself. You see what I'm saying? And then give these things to your uh, grandchildren that can't, that comes by to visit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know. They say, oh, you've been really up to something. See what I'm saying? There's the green. I got another one to go. And you'll say, oh. Grandma or Grandpa, you did that? Well, you're very talented. Ooh, ooh. Well, if you come and visit regular, I'll give you some more. <laughs> That's what you tell them in the nursing home. You show up every once in a while, I'll give you some more stuff. <laughs> you already got all my coin collections, my paintings. 
uh, my car, my everything. <laughs> and now I can give you some talent. Okay. And you, if you don't use all your paint, don't worry about it because it's, I mean, it's so cheap. You pay a dollar for, I don't know how many ounces that is. Let me see. Got it all sticky here. Two fluid ounces. So you got two fluid ounces. All right, now did we, what do you think, people? Write your comment. And you can hang it. See here? You can hang it on the wall. Hang it on these, I'll put these brushes in that water. See that? Now that's your painted wall hanging. Easy, simple. Cut out a piece of cloth, trim it down. This is the back side of it. See there, the dip, that's the original. That's the what we painted. And if you want to, you can paint the back side. Should we paint the back side? No, I ain't going to. I want people to show the, the difference in it. You see what I'm saying? And that way, maybe that'll inspire them to uh, paint something of their sails. I gotta wash my brushes, and I hate to leave a dirty brush. Now we mixed, matched the colors pretty good, and there it is. So I'm going to stop it. There you are. That won't last long around this house. Some kid will come in, great little girl or whatever. Oh, I want to put that in my room. Go ahead and take it. <laughs> That's what I say. You guys have a great one. If they haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit the thumbs up and... I'll see you do. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and give me a comment. I love comments.